baby. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. What it look like is your main man, Fabulous, man. I'm holding it down with Reese. My brother, Reese. 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 The homie Reese. You already know, man. It's Taylor Gang. I die. Who you with? Reese. Yeah. Who you with? Who you with? Hey, man, we back at it, baby. The Reese Show Live. We have a very special guest. My boy Trouble on a roll. He on a hot streak this week. He bringing through everybody that needs to be seen, talked to, heard, and listened to it. And heard and listened to are two totally different things. We might get into that, too. Right now, we have the world-famous, world-renowned, artist-loved Miss Jessie, a.k.a. Dr. Jessie. We're going to talk about how you got that moniker, too, okay. in the building. What's going on, Miss Lady? Oh, very much happy to be here with you today. Yeah, man. So, look, we first and foremost, uh, we want to say thank you for what you do. Well, as people say, on and off the court. Because, for one thing, you help artists get their just due. You know, they work hard. They, they put in these hours. They get these record deals sometimes. They put these songs out, but they don't always get compensated fairly. And you've been helping people get their compensation. Yeah, the, most of the time they ain't getting compensated fairly. Right, right. And then on the other side, off the court, You've been helping your community and the greater community that, that you're from, that you stay at. You've been helping people uh, from 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 all types of basic necessities and resources. So for somebody doing something like that for others, we always got to give you the hype bell, give you your flowers, give you your trophies. We appreciate you, Mama. Thank you. Thank for you. sure. For I appreciate sure. It. Hearing that sometimes, you know, it's always weird. <laughs> I'm learning to accept accept. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, compliments, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I love my work. I love yeah. helping people. It's uh, following through like the core goals, being mm -hmm. able to enjoy my work and then know that I'm helping people at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. That's I hope y'all paying attention right now because she doesn't have to give back, but she does anyway. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this. What's on your shirt? Ah, so, MyMusicPublisher.com. Right, right. So I am a music, um, what people most know is collecting royalties. So mm -hmm. my specialty is collecting lost royalties. Mm -hmm. um, but for the fact is, like, I didn't go to school for this. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of, if any, very many people like me who right. do what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, I can't be there for everybody. And so MyMusicPublisher.com is uh, the website and app where I'm able to give back in that way so it is an app where you can do the first step that's necessary in protecting your music mm -hmm. is to fill out a split sheet okay it's it, like i i work with all like not all but my all my clients are gold mm -hmm. platinum um major record label mm -hmm. artist right and and I'm independent, but independent mm -hmm. 25 years. The number one problem is people don't do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> and and I you know I love collecting money. You know, mm -hmm. I have no problem with it. <laughs> so I love collecting money. I, I love feel collecting you on money. that one. But the fact is, it's really hard when mm -hmm. you find out some of the, your favorite musicians, some of the, the music that you love. The people are, they're not getting the money that they're due, due right. duly owned. So number one is because the paperwork was not done, and my music publisher is the first step for me mm -hmm. helping other people getting their paperwork done so mm -hmm. i can't be with you physically but right. now i can virtually virtually yeah. <laughs> and um it's kind of my giving back to community mm -hmm. so you can actually go up there right now and do your paperwork as far as your split sheet for free mm -hmm. and like i said me and you make a song right now yeah we do our paperwork did it, it click a button mm -hmm. documents in your hand documents in my hand yeah and if it's a hit song tomorrow mm. i'm gonna be showing i got my 50 percent right. sure you pay me and it's also a, um how you it's the first step like if you have the you have the copyright next mm -hmm. and and you have to put all that data in mm -hmm. so when you're up, uploading for the the distributors right you'll have all that correct the first time from the also beginning also called metadata <clears throat> mm -hmm. you know so that that can correlate to you your account and get back to you so mm -hmm. it's the first step yeah but the, i mean if you take the first step correctly the rest of the steps are easier yeah, Much easier. right. And and if you have a, a let's say you're an artist, you come in the studio, you got a producer, he's making some records, hard records, and y'all do something together, or songs. I'll say records, so songs together, right? And you pull out a split sheet, and they don't want to sign it. Hey, man, it's gonna be hard later anyway. You might as well just scratch it and go to the next thing. Go to the next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 like uh, when you're building a house, or well, you know, or you own a car, you buy it with somebody. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you have your paperwork on it. Mm -hmm. you make sure if anything happens, or that you know the insurance policy, you get your money, <laughs> right? Whichever. Um, but you would be surprised. I I was uh, working with my artist Juice the Mac you mm -hmm. met yesterday, right? And uh, we did the stuff. Yet yeah, we did some making some songs and went with through them, and it's, it's quick, easy. 
and, mm-hmm. and le- less than a minute you have your paperwork done mm-hmm. and uh, i always say uh, recently like if look lorilla would have used the app during mm-hmm. the process when she made um that yeah ethnic right process, right right uh she would have had a paperwork wouldn't have matter about what wouldn't matter else. right she just would have pulled it out and went and got her share and mm-hmm. said kick in my cash or i'm gonna get you for copyright infringement mm-hmm. Um, so it's the number one step and it's my gift to give back because I wish I could be there and help mm. more people, but there's only one. It's Ms. only Jessie. one of you. There's one. No, yeah. Miss one Dr. Jesse. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so look, man, if so, if you're an artist out there, this is important information, like a valuable information, because if you have those split sheets, right, you can take that to court. You can say, OK, yes, I did do the song. Yes, we had this thing from the beginning worked out saying that I want my 50 percent as, as the writer and you get your 50 percent as the composer. That's just fair. Good business. Yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. I mean, it's necessary. It's, mm-hmm. it, 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 a lot of people are making music, but are are you know you, you want to make money? Yeah, I like making money. That's I like it, making music and money. You want to be a business person inside of music. You want to do music business, and that's where most of the hard stories come about because people don't do the business on the front end. Then now it's an argument on the back end or misunderstanding on the back end. Yeah, and I hear all the stories. Mm-hmm. I, I bet because of what you stories. do, I bet. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's even like you know, um, music has gone even. There's so many different ways now, even more be, because of digital, mm-hmm. to get your money. You know, yeah. it's not always about being a superstar. You can actually, it's content. Mm-hmm. Whether it's content, uh, whether music or video, you need to protect your assets. Yeah. And so, that's like I said, I, I definitely want people to start using mymusicpublisher.com to mm-hmm. protect those assets that they create. And then also, like, I want to make sure people are learning how to do all the other steps because yeah. we need a whole bunch of other Miss Jessie's, Dr. Jessie yes, here. Yes. Uh, so that, you know, I do not accept new clients. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's a hard thing. Yeah. People are calling me. I bet they are. You've been finding people millions. Yeah. And that's not, that's no exaggeration. She's been finding people millions of dollars if they're just due money through uh, royalties. And it just correct me if I'm missing yeah, anything, no, just right. performing and, and, rights. And, and don't let them tell you it is time limit. Mm. If they, if you, like, I'm going to tell you, I also, I'll, Stop thinking that ASCAP and BMI are where your money's at. If you had a record deal, mm-hmm. your money's with the record label. Mm. And people are looking like, I get my ASCAP checks. I get That's performance. That's right. radio money. Uh-huh. That's internet radio right. money. If you've been, if you're from most of my clients, you know, from back in the days, I go yeah. all the way back. To, I represent one of the, the lead singer of The Temptations. Okay. You know, so I got to go back a while in a lot of 90s hip hop, uh, Little Flip, mm-hmm. um, uh Kid Frost. Yeah. And these people that had like radio hits, performing places, even in licensed venues, if your music's playing, you're supposed to get compensated. Right, right, Mm -hmm. right. But that's that's BMI and ASCAP. Uh But if you were on a major record label, you need to go to the record label. See where's my coins? Yeah, All right. <laughs> and then there's also a new new organization called the MLC, which is the Mechanical Licensing. Okay. Um, whatever the Mechanical Licensing Committee, whatever they mm-hmm. are. Uh, but the money has been accruing for years since digital started. Yes. And uh, listen, I'm gonna let you guys know the money has been moving. I've been watching it for mm. twenty some years. Where they they've been trying. It's called the black box. Uh huh. Right. So the black box money is over at the MLC. Okay. And so for all those musicians, entertainers who've been making money for this year, they're asking where their mechanicals are. Uh huh. They're at the MLC. So you need to sign up mm. and start collecting because there are people out there right now mm. faking that they you. Oh, you know okay. That makes sense. That makes that sense. You, if yeah. you don't know, they're going to go and they're yeah. going to get it. So you need to be able to um, a- access the, the, the real. And, and that MLC has only been uh, two years. Mm-hmm. Two years since the uh, co- co- the law, Library of Congress wow. and has created it. So definitely want people to go and sign up to get that. It's kind of right. like a sound exchange. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's another avenue of money for folks. And I definitely want people to tap in. Definitely because there's also a time limit. Mm. People don't know there's a time limit because you know how businesses do it. Yeah. They uh, don't tell you everything. <laughs> and then they're like, oops, I got to keep your well, money now. Well, even like the, the after this, after a certain amount of years, they get to take that money and put it into the pot. Mm-hmm. And right. then they can share out the pot. Mm-hmm. But I don't want my money put in somebody's pot. No. I want my money. I want my money in my pot. You know, and <laughs> I, you know, so, so for, I want people to make sure that you've got you know royalties that have been collecting, especially from the, the time of when um, digital, digital started. Yes. Sign up. Okay. Sign up. Because these these, this is real 
Yeah. Some lucrative amounts could be accrued in there. It was about two billion in this account. Or two, it, 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 excuse me, right now I don't right. see the two or two hundred billion. It's, it's it's a lot. Of that's money. a lot. I would lean that's more for, toward the two hundred billion because of the amount of music and content that's out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I need artists to go make sure they sign up and then start, you know, mm -hmm. learning how to, you know, yeah. collect on those assets. Man, that's so crazy. Let me hit this hype bell one time for all that information. All of you artists out there, you need to make sure you handle your business. And this this wonderful young woman right here is telling us exactly how. Um, let's kind of take a quick side step and go through. Like, you got a new artist in the studio, right? And they're they're on the verge of maybe making some hits. Of course, they go into your website, my mymusicpublisher.com. They fill out the split sheet. But let's just say they come out with a tangible item or a tangible song. They're saying it's a single. What are my steps? What am I doing? Am I getting my ISRC codes? Am I registering with BDA? Yes, media base. What am I doing? Talk yes, to me. Yes, oh, you are. I say I love to do this part. Okay, so first of all, before you even making any music, even though I know you're gonna make your music mm -hmm. anyways, <laughs> setting up your business, creating mm -hmm. your LLC, of course, and being official. But then, yes, I still do an old school way. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get our own UPCs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna be about uh, depending. Now you can actually buy them one off. Okay, where you used to have to buy them in a bulk. bulk. You yeah, can actually buy them one. Mm -hmm. I suggest you buy it like I did for Juice the Mac. Mm -hmm. We're gonna buy the prefix we're gonna spend the 750 mm -hmm. and his prefix for his upc says shark only llc mm -hmm. so that's one match so here's you and i'm gonna slow you down throughout the time yeah. not to cut you out because you got some great information i'm gonna buy some used pcs that are directly affiliated with my business and the type of business so i'm gonna get some entertainment based upcs and i'm gonna link those to any songs that i that i put out yeah, any product. Any product, any okay. Any product. Right. So, like, an album would have one UPC. Mm -hmm. But then I'm also going to purchase my ISRCs. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take DistroKids ISRCs. I'm because? Not taking, tell why, them why. Why? Because it's my product. Mm -hmm. Okay? Number one. And I don't... If, if I use DistroKids ISRCs, that's DistroKids ISRCs. Mm -hmm. So... It's pretty much under like their record label, right, right. okay. And back in the days, I'm gonna fill you in before folks knew if you were on there, like uh, Sound Exchange, yes, was paying. I know, they was paying instead of paying you, mm -hmm. they was paying them. Yeah. So you was missing out on because they owned a portion of your song because you were going under their ISRCs. Yes. ISRCs basically work as like a barcode, a UPC for each song. Yeah, I call them social security for the song. For yeah, I like that. Okay, these are social security numbers for your songs. Uh -huh. So get your ISRC, which will be to your company. So we have the UPC Shark Only, and we have the ISRC Shark Only. Mm -hmm. So when when as a royalty collector, when I'm going to look at a uh, matching up thing, I see Shark Only, Shark mm -hmm. Only's not. Distro kid, distro kid, distro right? Distro kid is not who I am. I'm with Shark only. Mm -hmm. So you, I would do UPCs, then you do your ISRCs. Now it's time to get into business. There we go. Okay. Now people don't understand. You just don't throw the song up. <laughs> Talk to you. Him. Just don't throw the song up. Uh -huh. You have to first. You got to make sure you 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 fingerprint the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got to fingerprint right. the baby. So you know BDS sound scan. Mm -hmm. You got to upload it. Then it's a free. Well, it's a free account to do that. It is free. Yes. You know how many people skip that step? A lot of people, and then your song's playing on the radio, and it's not getting tracked, or your song is being no playing tracking. digitally, and it's no tracking. No tracking. Mm -hmm. No tracking. So please, it's a free. Well, even before, but hold on, let's go mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So after we've done the split sheet, I'm right. gonna go back. We got the BDCS, we got the ISRCs. Mm -hmm. You done made the song. Now you, you've used the split sheet. Mm -hmm. Now, sec next step is your copyright. Yes. Now, it's definitely really important now to do copyright because of the Music Modernization Act, which mm -hmm. made it. Um, if you do not have your copyright, mm -hmm. and nowadays, if, if, if one of these... Um, you know, um, anyone's playing your music, right? Right. right. And it's out there, and it's a hit song. But hey, that's my music. Right. Well, okay, you can go tell them it's your music, but you don't get any of that money that they made from the time mm -hmm. you told them backwards. Right. You can only go forward from right. the time that you've registered your copyright. Mm -hmm. So all that money that you lost, mm -hmm. you lost. You lost. Right. And I can give you an example of that. I represent the um, TikTok hit, Oh No. Okay. Oh No. Yeah. Oh no. I've used it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that was Noriega on one of his, it was actually Noriega, mm. uh, not... Uh, the other gentleman, right. like Creeper. Yeah, was, yes, yes, yes. It was actually Norway. Norway song, yeah. Creeper took it, mm -hmm. okay, and didn't yeah. really do nothing to him, just mm -hmm. switched it up. Yeah. Um, if Noriega wouldn't have had the copyright, mm -hmm. He'd he have wouldn't been have been able to get luck. none of that money mm. from 
the before we found out. Right. You know, when we found out, we had to say, oh, hold on. Right. That song belongs to me. Mm-hmm. And I had to take the paper, do handle the paperwork and show them blah, blah, blah. Right. Do the deal. But we wouldn't have been able to get any back. Right. Only forward. Right. So people have to know, well, as soon as you make that music, copyright the music. Right. Okay. And then now you can, of course, fingerprint it and encode it through BDS sound mm-hmm. scan and then then you can go get it right. out. I love that. You know why? Because let's just say I'm an artist, I make a song, I copyright it, and somebody uses it, they remix it, and they blow it up. I'm going to say go ahead go because ahead. I can I can now reap the benefits of all of the work yes. that you put in because yes. you used my creation. Yes. Mm. Yes. I like it. Yeah. And they got, like I said, that, that's why the paperwork is right because mm-hmm. when you do that split sheet, yes. they'll give you all the information that you need for your copyright. Mm-hmm. For your, for your data, so it just kind of transfer. A lot of people don't know. There's a lot of mistakes that just happen in that mm-hmm. in that process. So with the split sheet, it'll save you those mistakes. Wow. So we can make sure there's no red flags. Mm-hmm. I had a client called me. I was and he was making some music, and he said, "Hey, Jess, will you check my check my you know mm-hmm. my account?" Right. It was his, 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 I think it was to be in my account one mm-hmm. or two, and I, I checked, and there were red marks on every single song. Wow. And I was like, "Who helps you?" He was like. The, label. the organization, right. well, the organization oh. was ASCAP or BMI. Uh-huh. They had helped him, yeah. But every single was wrong, and yeah. I had to go back and I helped him. And I fixed it, but you definitely need to learn how to properly do it, and the the split sheet will save you from making mistakes. Mm. And that's like I said, and then you can use that same document to help your with your copyright, right? While you got your ISRCs and your UPCs, mm-hmm. you're in the business of making money with music that's it man you you this is not dr jesse this is dr music money over here let's just keep talking about this i love this between you and a friend of ours that's on our board capriccio y'all have all the knowledge ever needed for for music i should start a college well you know what um the, the college I, I you know i received my doctorate mm-hmm. um my honorary doctorate from um, christian harvest university uh last april and that's one of my goals is to mm. teach um music publishing and publishing collection mm-hmm. I, I there's no i can't do it all on my own yeah and it's part of economic development mm-hmm. um as you know i my, what i mm-hmm. do in my other part of right stuff, which I we'll just, talk about soon yeah. yeah um is you know um help people i don't you know, i made the last job i had was mm-hmm. for a billionaire mm. let's make about sixty thousand dollars a year mm. and, and I, I, I lost my job because i forgot that I'm still black in America. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just real still. So. Right. Um, but guys get all the time. He never mm-hmm. makes no mistake. And I spent that last year and I started getting into this music business. My first check was a quarter of a million dollars. Wow. And out of that, I took a hundred thousand plus home. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. And that was that was my boss's salary. Yeah. That he had to go to work for. I made it on my own. Made it on your own. And I'd love to teach people how to. I mean, I'm free. Yeah. In the, you know, I've, yeah. I've made over a hundred thousand dollars a year for the last ten plus years mm-hmm. easily. Mm-hmm. It's a way better way of life. Yeah. And I'd love to share that for our folks who definitely starting out, uh, and actually the, um, you know, the tests that you know say on, on industries that are growing, especially mm-hmm. because of COVID. Yes. We have to be understanding. Um, publishing administrators are, are in dire need. Wow. So if people want to learn, I'm willing to teach. There we go. I like that. Trying to help other people get money. <laughs> Let me yeah. hit that. Let and me so hit they that. Help other people get money too. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you don't hold on to the information because one thing you, you're saying without saying is it doesn't matter how successful you get, it doesn't stop somebody else from being successful too. No. Mm. no. I mean, I, 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 it helps me because I feel bad. I can't. I can't say yes to everybody. Mm-hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't do right by my clients if I said yes to everybody who needed me. Right. I'd be one of those people. Oh, I work for two thousand artists. Well, how mm-hmm. well do you work for them? Mm-hmm. I mean, I've worked for some artists um, eight years without a dime. Mm. Before we was able to crack that and get them two hundred thousand dollars, and now twenty thousand every quarter. Mm. You know, because wow. I don't give up. And yeah. you can't do that if you're working for two thousand people. Right. But I would definitely love to to teach folks so that they can mm-hmm. t- go out and find people who need their help, and then they can get money. And mm-hmm. yeah, when you spread the love, it comes back. There we go. It comes back. I don't like be that. Scared of people helping people. That's that's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. It's really supposed to be. Some people care. I don't just keep no secrets. People helping people to help themselves. That's one of pops lines. I'm mad at that at all. Okay, okay. Tell me about that though, because you also have an organization that you do. You've been helping um, Washington, the state right. of Washington, and 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 then it reaches far beyond that. So could you give us a quick spill on that? Well, so um, I I have uh, I'm the founder of the Harriet Tubman Foundation for Safe Passage, right? 501c3 uh, in Washington State. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we recently, really in July, uh, we spent the last year um, 
writing the plan on mm -hmm. how to put 200 million into community yeah. pretty much as um, reparations for the war on drugs mm -hmm. because Washington state has has admitted that they know that their systems are not, not fair to working people of right, color right. and that they've, they've created harm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just fortunate to live in such an awesome state that is not just saying it, they're, they're taking steps it. to rectify it. Mm. And in that work, we're not only able to get money to people um, to change their lives, um, we're also changing how government works because go government's us. Mm -hmm. It okay. is us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and we are helping uh, government workers feel comfortable with making the changes and, and talking about changes that need to be changed in the system. Mm -hmm. um, and then also it's different than, let's say, throwing out stimulus checks. Mm -hmm. We've actually, uh, my, my, my staff, uh, my uh, great partner, Cor Corbett Mosley, my program manager, we have wrote a plan that's supposed to create seven generations. Okay. Okay, seven generations of wealth. Yeah. And so it's not handing out money. Mm -hmm. It's actually showing folks how to become financially stable, stable. and making and, and creating a legacy. Because once you alleviate the pressures of having to pay a light bill or having to make sure my kid has a college fund, you know, or be able to pay for school or pick between eating and getting gas. Yeah. I was never hungry, and, and, and I have a person, I, mean, I was a teenage mom, you mm -hmm. know, welfare, all that. I was never hungry until I got to middle class. Mm. I, I was no, I wasn't hungry when I was poor. Uh huh. You know, definitely hungry when I was rich. Right. But when I was middle class, it was hungry. Yeah. And that because you don't have those assistances, but no you still got to work. And, yeah. And, that, and that's and and our plan is not saying it's 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 not for the the people at the bottom. It's for those people who are working and, mm -hmm. and, and working to to get out of poverty. Right. Um. There are resources. We've got IDA accounts, which are matching accounts mm -hmm. up to ten thousand dollars. So wow. if you go, you're working and and you need to save. You know, every dollar you save, we're going to match it up to ten thousand dollars. It's amazing. Um, I uh, my organization is also part of the reentry. We've got a reentry grant, so we mm -hmm. we're working with um, up to sixty individuals when they get out of prison, mm -hmm. being able to set them up as far as having the resources and community access and even funding, okay. so that they can hit over those barriers. Yes. Um, Money for houses, mm, money that, for and that's business, a home. Money for business, right? Money to help you with your credit, financial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever you got, we we put it in there, and uh, I'm actually when I leave next week, I'll be with the governor for two days. There we go. So we're, we're going to be talking about it and and, and sharing, <laughs> sharing, <laughs> right. sharing all that good news. But you know, I, like I said I dreamed about doing all this stuff, mm -hmm. like. And I'm doing it. You're so doing manif it. Manifestation is real. Uh -huh. People don't don't give up on your dreams. I tell the number one people is it's just dream and dream big, mm -hmm. and then work for it, and then you'll be. I still pinch myself when I wake up in the morning. All right, well we pinching ourselves right now. We appreciate you, Miss Jesse, Doctor Jesse, for coming through. You gave us a wealth of information, and now one of your artists is calling right now, so you gotta go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we didn't get to talk about the. You know, I'm I know. also. I'm, this is I part know. one. I this know. is part one. We gonna we come back for part Rick, two. Cause they don't even know about yeah. freeway Rick. Yeah, we got to so. talk about freeway Rick Ross, one of my favorite people to interview in the world. Y'all get ready, and I read his book twice. You know what I mean? So we gonna talk about that. This is part one with Doctor Jesse. We appreciate you. Thank you so much you. we'll see you soon all right this is reese radio we go <laughs> it's time to see who's with reese thank you so much who you with wendy williams